had a great summer. As for me, I am not ready to let summer go. So today's project is I'm going to teach you how to make your own island inside a jar. And this island is going to be able to see either it's going to rain or the sun's going to come out. So if you want to learn how to do this out of upcycle, stick with me and let's do this. Again, once this jar is empty, you clean it out really good and then you take Goo Gone and you remove the label from it and then you clean it again to get the Goo Gone off, dry it off real good and then you should have the two pieces here. Take one of these containers you get from like when you get sauces or something that they send home and you want to take the bottom part of it and trim it down so that it's about halfway down because what you want to do ideally is fit it in here and then you want to take styrofoam and cut it like this, fit it in here and glue the whole thing in the center of this so that you could still screw the globe on when it's done but yet put a bunch of things on top to decorate this. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to take this Gorilla Glue Instant Dry Waterproof um, Glue and I'm going to glue the plastic to the lid and the styrofoam to the plastic and then I'll start putting other things on top of this to decorate it. So I've put the glue on here. It's not quite dry yet. And I'm shifting it around to place it. Make sure that you have an edge here and you don't get any sand or stones in here when you start applying the topping. Okay, but um, you want to give it 24 hours to cure the glue um, so that it sticks. Even though it says instant dry, it takes 24 hours to totally cure this glue. I got this from Michael's. These are blue stones that have a little bit of shine to them. I thought they'd make pretty water and I put them in this little container so that it'd be easier to work with to sprinkle them on top as I glue them. And also I got this sand from Michael's and I did the same thing. I put it in a little container so that I can um, so that I can sprinkle it on to work with it a little easier. So that's what I'm going to do now. Starting to glue the blue stones that I bought in here. I'm just going to layer them to look like water. And then after that, I'm going to take these palm trees that I got from Amazon. They're really cool little mini palm trees that I found um, on Amazon. And I'm going to start putting those in before I apply the sand. So I'm going to finish gluing my stones now. Okay, so next what I want to do before I put the sand is I want to take these little mini palm trees and you want to make sure it's a multi-pack that has different sizes that it's going to fit inside it's going to fit inside the um, the jar that you choose. Now I chose a short almond butter jar it's made of plastic which by the way is actually better than glass in the regards that if you drop it it's not going to break um, but anyway so as you can see this can still fit because it can go down into the um, styrofoam inside the lid and so I'm going to use these two size trees here. Okay, so I put the one in and I put the glue. And now I'm going to insert the other one into the styrofoam and also glue it in place. I filled it all in with stones and then I'm going to go back and put sand over half of it to make it look like a beach. So as this is drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top part and I'm going to start painting a background scenery of the sky on this outer part here. Okay, so my glue is pretty much dry on my rocks and in the meantime I painted the background on this globe part by just taking white acrylic paint and putting on then I took some blue and I just smeared it in there and I'm going to cover that later anyway in the back but what I was trying to do is get the effect to look through the globe so that when you put the trees inside you can see that's going to sit there as um, the backdrop of the sky. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start putting the sand and creating a beach. And I may go back and put a few more blue stones to give it more of a translucent look. But anyway, um, if you're enjoying this video, if you could hit like. And I would like to take this time to thank all my subscribers and all those who do comment and like. I really appreciate your support. And I hope that you're getting value out of this video. And I'm going to move right along then and I'm going to start putting the sand and making the beach. So what I did was <clears throat> I took and I put the glue down and I sprinkled sand on it. And then I pressed the sand down with my gloves. Um, always wear gloves with this 
so you don't get that glue on your hands and always wear a mask for the vapors so you don't breathe in the vapors and do it outside. And also I glued the top of the palm trees with that waterproof glue so that they won't come loose when you shake the water globe. And I added some more stones for the ocean and I also painted just white paint along to make a shoreline effect. Then I took the globe and I painted one more coat on the back to give it more um, thickness and to cover up some brush strokes. Now before I add, after everything dries, I'm going to put a coat completely of the uh, glue that's waterproof over the entire bottom section here to protect it from the water that's going to go inside the snow globe, or should I say beach globe. Next, what I did was I went and I put, now that this glue is all dry, as it was drying, I put a little bit of gold glitter on the sand part and some blue glitter over the ocean part. And now we're going to put this thing together. Okay, so now that I've added the distilled water, the glycerin, and the glitter, I'm going to take this Gorilla Glue waterproof and put it around the edge here, around the treads, and then I'm going to secure my little island top down into it, upside down, screw it on and let it dry for 24 to 48 hours. Okay, so I've just shaken it and the glitter's falling. It seems to be holding together pretty well, but now I need to cover um, the bottom there where the brown is. And what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use this piece of ribbon and just glue it right around the bottom here. And then on top, what I've already done is I have put a piece of plastic in the middle here. And where I got that piece of plastic was from the bottom of the water bottle. I cut out the center and just glued this on here so that it would be a resistance when I put the stick on light, uh, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Now this is what I mean about resistance. Um, I'm going to secure this with tape and stuff, but I just want to give you the idea why I put that plastic on there. Because when you push down, you need something to push up against the light. So you can see how it lights it up. And then, let's see if this piece of plastic wasn't in here, you wouldn't have anything to push against the light because it caves down in. So that okay, so I put the ribbon around the bottom. Now I'm getting ready to secure the push light on the top. I'm securing it by putting clear packaging tape around the top. And I learned that you have to have the light on when you do this because if you tape it wrong, the light won't click on and off. You have to have the light on, tape it in place, and make sure that when you tap it, that it'll turn on and off. And then you can finish securing it with the tape, and then we're going to cover the top. And now I put some glitter foam on the top in a circular pattern and I'm going to go around and just trim this out a little bit more with some more ribbon but I wanted to show you that these stick on glue dots around underneath to secure it more but this is important because you don't really want to glue this on you want to be able to pull it off if you want because if you ever have to replace the batteries then it's easy you can just pull that foam piece off of there and replace it and put it back down with some more glue dots Okay, so I finished decorating it with some ribbon and some more rope ribbon. And just as I put on the top the foam with the glitter, I also put it around the back to cover the back where it was painted. And then on top, I added a seashell and some flowers just to give it a nice little touch. And now we have our little beach scene. And we can look at this all through the winter and enjoy it even though it might be freezing outside. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for joining me and have a wonderful day.